A man walks into a bar. His name is Elias Howe Jr. The year, 1851. The bartender asks, what it'll be? Elias responds, I invented the sewing machine. Do you? Do you not? Yes, I do. I follow you on the gram, he says. Could you follow me back? I also have a new thingy coming out. It's the future of fashioning technology. I just need uh, to patent it and market it and do all sorts of these things. Yeah. Okay, and then I, uh, okay, uh, after that, can you? Okay, after you do that, can you follow? And he quickly left the bar without ordering a thing. Elias was talking about the zipper. But don't get premature with me. It wasn't called that yet. It was called Automatic Continuous Clothing Closure. His wife left him because of how stupid that name was. So we never got around to making it popular and just focused on the sewing machine. So Elias invented the zipper. So what? You, uh, you need to stop interrupting and let me finish explaining. Another gentleman walks into the same bar 40 years later. His name? Whitcomb Judson. The bartender asks, what'll it be? And Whitcomb responds, I just invented the class blocker. Wow, a lot of people are inventing things nowadays. What's that? And Whitcomb responds, the future of fastening technology. To which the bartender says, oh, some bloke 40 years ago already did that. You're too late. To which Whitcomb asks, and the bartender thinks back for a moment. No, I, no, I don't think so, he said. So Whitcomb unveiled it for the first time at the Chicago World's Fair of 1833. So he's successful, right? You say it without raising your hand? Oh my god, <laughs> who raised you? Because they did a horrible bad, job bad, teaching bad, respect. Bad, bad. Gideon Sumback of Swedish descent walks in already drunk because his wife died. Sorry. Employee at the Universal Fashioning Company improved upon Judson's design known as the wait for it, Judson Security Fastener. The bartender laughs. It's a good name, Gideon proclaims over his laugh. Successfully got a patent for his updated design in 1917. The name Zipper was made popular by B.F. Goodrich Company when they put it on boots. Are zippers popular yet? Not at all. Let's wait 20 years. The year, 1930. Children had just been invented, and because of this, they need school uniforms. Okay, great. How many buttons? No, said a manufacturer. We use the zipper. The year, 1937. Men had just started to pee and wear clothing at the same time. Buttons? Okay, but what about the zipper? And a paradox happened, and the entire universe was uh, sucked into oblivion.